guys! Today I'm talking about the perfumes that I'm going to be wearing the most this fall. It's finally sweater weather. I am so excited. Uh, <laughs> um, I have eight perfumes that I'm going to share with you that are absolute guaranteed hits for the fall when you're still kind of warm, not super cold, but you're kind of getting into that mode. My first perfume is Angel. Um, this is a brand new bottle for me. I love Angel. I have a few different flankers, um, but you can't go wrong with just the Eau de Parfum. It's so good. It's syrupy patchouli, chocolate. Um, it's so sweet and scrumptious and edible. And I don't know. I just, I really like this for the fall. I think it really works. It's very kind of cozy feeling. And since I have a new bottle, I would like to kind of put a little bit of a dent in it um, in September and October. So this perfume is Asian Provocateur Fatale Intense. This is very similar to Angel um, with the patchouli. It's very syrupy and earthy, but this has this like red hot pepper that really makes it spicy. So it does not smell exactly like Angel. It does differentiate itself from Angel, but Oh man, this is so good. This is very sexy. This is definitely a really great nighttime perfume. Um, it just smells, it smells like the name, Fatal Intense, and the bottle is just so perfect for this. I think the bottle really works for the scent. So speaking of nighttime, <laughs> Hypnotic Poison from Dior is a really great nighttime perfume. I think Hypnotic Poison can be worn all times of the day. This smells like root beer. Uh, it's so good. It's like a delicious vanilla. Oh, it's, it's a little spicy, like licorice-y. Mmm, so good. Um, anyway, I'm like lost on like a little cloud right now. It smells so good. That's why I have like the giant bottle because I love this so much and I also love the bottle so much. The bottle is so nice to hold and spray yourself down. Um, this is definitely a sweater scent to me. It is so cozy and it just surrounds you and just feels like a nice sweater. It's just really nice. Now that I look, most of these are very sweater scent <laughs> type scents. Um, Shalimar Souffle de Parfum. This is another really cozy one. This is really fluffy vanilla, lemon, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of leather. Um, it's a very light and fluffy version of Shalimar. Uh, very wearable, perfect for cold months. I think. Um, this one is just such a, just a really nice addition to any collection, especially if you're not a huge Shalimar fan. Obviously, if you're a Shalimar fan, you need to have this, but if you're not really into Shalimar, because it can be a lot, um, especially for like an everyday, this is a really nice gourmand everyday version of it. On the days in the fall that are a little overcast or maybe a little rainy, I'm going to be looking to Classique Essence de Parfum to lift me up. It is a deep, ambery, boozy vanilla with a really uplifting orange blossom. It's definitely got the Classique uh, Eau de Toilette DNA, but that ambery vanilla helps to kind of ground it and modernize it a little bit. Um, it's very similar to um, Alien Essence Absolute, which I think I've mentioned before um, in my favorite flankers video, but this, it's just so feminine and wearable. La Via Belle, it's like the top selling fragrance ever, I think. Uh, and for good reason. It smells amazing. I love this fragrance. Um, the iris is so good and it's so sweet and syrupy and the patchouli doesn't have any earthiness to it at all. It's just very, it's just very approachable. Like anyone could wear this and I think could pull it off. Um, it smells super classy. It's so feminine. It's very... It's just very likable. 
Um, so this is definitely going to be another one of my dumb reaches for the fall. Tresor Midnight Rose. I knew I was going to love this the first time I ever even heard the name Midnight Rose. I was like, oh yeah, that's mine. I love rose and I especially love a jammy rose and this nails jammy rose. It is literally like candied roses in jam it's so good and it's so perfect for fall and cold weather because the cold kind of keeps it from getting too sickeningly sweet um which this definitely can get sickeningly sweet but on the colder days in the fall this is going to be one of my top reaches it's so good if you've never smelled it you really need to especially if you like um La Nuit Tresor. I think this is a really obvious like next step from that one. I think a lot of people were introduced to the Tresor line with La Nuit and this one is different enough. I mean it's not like La Nuit. It has a little bit of the same background um, because it is part of the Tresor line that rose in there but oh man you've got to try this one too. Last but certainly not least, speaking of La Nuit Tresor, is La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. <laughs> what a mouthful. This one is sort of new to my collection. I've had this for a few months and it is La Nuit pulled back a little bit with tons and tons and tons of like red currant and a little pink pepper. It's so, so good. I think this one, I think A La Folie works better in a wider spectrum of temperatures, day, night. I think it just works. My biggest complaint with this is it doesn't last very long. Um, but other than that, it's almost perfection. It's so good. I think um, if this lasted a little bit longer, this would be a contender for like top five all-time fragrances. Um, but for the fall, it will do. I think this one is also very, very likable. I think this is going to be one I get a lot of compliments on from my girlfriends. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear in the comments what your fall picks are going to be. And if you've tried any of the perfumes that I've mentioned, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Thanks again.